much and uh, good afternoon to all of you. Well, this indeed is a very important uh, meeting, the COP that Japan is hosting, because there are a number of very important issues that is going to be decided in this COP. And one of them, of which I've been following from the IFB, is um, on the strategic plan for two, uh, 2020. Why this is important is not just because it's up to 2020, because the vision actually talks about up to 2050. So we're talking about a long period of time. Now, um, there have been some positive things, but at the same time, there has been a lot of uh, uh, dismay from our point of view in the discussion under this strategic plan. Because biodiversity, as you know, um, know, is very important to the indigenous peoples. It is critical. It is part of our survival. And we cannot do without it. And that is why we have paying a lot of attention and emphasis to this strategic plan. Uh, and more so because we all know that the global uh, biodiversity outlook tree have very clearly, explicitly brought out that the parties have failed in implementing the target for 2010. And that is why this calls for a much more uh, uh, concrete and commitment towards this strategic uh, plan for the next uh, 10 years, that is 2020. Now, we have received very little support so far under this uh, strategic plan in terms of the interest that we have been trying to put forward. And we are not just push pushing for, for the rights of indigenous peoples and our effective participation. But we have been raising mostly on the question of the role of the citizens at large, which is very important to achieve any targets that the party set. And without the people, we know that it will not be successful. We need to failure uh, again. <clears throat> now, of course, on the positive side, one of the achievements that we have made is under the protected area, the target 11, if I recall it correctly. Now this protected area also was set out without any reference to the people uh, for, for uh, when the issue of protected area is uh, managed and conserved. So in this one, at least the parties have accepted that the protected area should be effectively managed and equitably. Equitably meaning that the rights of indigenous peoples have to be, uh, cannot be ignored. Uh, and also the full and effective participation of uh, citizens. That's on the good side of uh, it. Now, there are many issues, but one of the uh, important issues that has not yet come up, and which we are hoping to be push, uh, to push it forward, is the inclusion of uh, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples in the decisions of, of this uh, strategic plan. This is very essential because this would at least ensure or, uh, or guarantee to us that the government is serious about our rights, about our participation, about our, about our role in the conservation and achieving of the uh, strategic target for uh, 2020. Now, um, there are many issues, as I said, but for the time being, let me uh, just uh, conclude here. And maybe we can have more discussions later. Thank you.